Hi Year 9, um, over the last couple of weeks I've given you various texts looking at different Spanish festivals and you've had questions to answer on them. Now obviously I've sent out the answer sheets but I wanted to do a couple of videos just to talk you through what each of these texts mean so that you can understand it in full to be able to know where you've gone right and wrong on things and also just to make sure that you do fully understand what happens in each of the festivals. So it's going to be a bit boring I'm afraid. But hopefully uh, you'll be able to get the gist a little bit more of what each of the festivals is about. So this is from your term six, week one work. Um, and you had various tasks relating to this text, which is looking at a couple of different regional festivals in Spain. So this first one, A, happens in Catalonia. Catalonia is in the northeast of Spain. That's where Barcelona is located. And that's what this image is referring to. So the name of the festival is Los Castells. Uh, the reason it looks a bit weird is because the name will be in Catalan. So Catalan is a slightly different language. It's not quite the same as the Spanish that we're learning. It's got a little bit of elements of French in it. Um, so they have their own language because they want independence from the rest of Spain. Um, so Los Castells. Son torres humanas, so they are human towers formed of men and women, hombres, men, mujeres, women, that train, se entrenan, they train for a year for competitions and performances. Okay, so that's what's happening here. Cada equipo. Each team, a equipo you might recognise from when we did sports, um, so that's a team. Each team wears, lleva, wears a shirt of a different colour. Okay, so what they'll do is all of them will try and build their towers. Each team has their different colour so you can see who is in which team and etc, etc. Of uh, shows and competitions with that in Catalonia. Uh, B was in Valencia, so again that's in the east of Spain but a little bit further down um, and that's on sort of the eastern coast of Spain. So that's what this picture is referring to. Now I didn't actually know about this festival, I've not heard very much about this at all, but it says here we see the tradition of commemorating the historical battles between the Moors and the Christians. So this has a little bit of history with it. The Moors are the people that um, came over from North Africa. So they've come from the bottom of Spain. If you go down from Spain, you get to Africa. Uh, the Moors used to occupy Spain before it became Christian. So there's obviously some little historical conflict there. Um, because Spain is traditionally a Catholic country, the Catholics took over from the Moors. Okay, so there's obviously a little bit of conflict. All the participants dress in very elegant suits and there are parades with horses and music. Okay, um, I'm just going to pause here. As I go through this, if there's any vocab that you have discovered that I've talked about that you didn't know before, please can you write that down somewhere useful where you'll be able to refer to it, okay? Because this vocab may come up over and over um, in exam practice or anything like that. If you have to speak or write about any of this, you will need to know this vocab. So C is in Navarra. Um, so this is in the north of Spain. Um, and that's this picture in the background, which you can't see very well. Uh, Las fiestas, the uh, festivals or the, the parties of San Fermín, is what they're called, uh, are celebrated every year in July in the city of Pamplona. Okay, Pamplona is the city in the north. The most famous party or festival is called El Encierro. Um, and this is the running of the bulls, okay? It consists of the bulls running in the streets full of people, okay? So basically they release a bull 
and it basically chases a load of people down the street. It's very exciting, but also dangerous. So you can see here we've got some bulls and some people. They all just run together. I personally wouldn't go to this one. I think it sounds horrendous, uh, but it is something that I've heard of um, happening. I've got a friend who lives in Pamplona. And our last one is for this picture. Castilla Leon, which is a little bit more central um, Spain. Uh, so not around the coast anywhere. Nadie sabe, no one knows the origins of this ancient or old fashioned, old fashioned and strange tradition or custom. So no one knows the origins of this old fashioned and strange custom of the city of Burgos. Now this one is a little bit weird. A man dressed as the devil jumps over children. So you can see here's the man there, children on the mattress down there, to bring them health and good luck in the future. And it's called El Colacho. Se llama El Colacho. Okay, so those are the four. As I say, pause, rewind, whatever you need, but do make a note of any vocab there that's come out that you didn't know before that you might be able to reuse in an exam. If you have any questions about the festivals, then feel free to Google them or you can ask me anything you want and I'll let you know as much as I know.